This is another random weekend in my life. I have been in a process and season of my life recently where I am fully cleansing anything that doesn't fully excite me or feel fully aligned in my life. And I got rid of so many pieces of clothing yesterday. I've just been styling different outfits today and I kind of wanted to show you the different outfits I'm putting together. I'm definitely an outfit repeater. This is the first fit. I'm really living for the monochromatic energy with the green and the black and everything that I'm wearing is secondhand from ThreadUp. They're sponsoring today's video. If you would like to get 30% off of your first order on ThreadUp, then you can use the code HITOMI or click the first link in my description box. ThreadUp is the world's largest online thrift store with some of your favorite brands that you know and love for up to 80% off estimated retail. Brands like Reformation, Realization, Zara, Topshop. These are more traditionally fast fashion brands that you may not want to support, but if you still want to indulge in some trends or find some reasons pieces that are timeless and very wearable. You can do this on ThreadUp and shop more ethically and sustainably by reusing, you know, an old garment. And I have been using their site for years. One of my favorite things about them is that you can customize your sizes, which makes shopping secondhand so easy and convenient. I will rue the day I ever spend five hours in a thrift store and come out with two pieces. Like, this is such a great way to shop secondhand. I definitely recommend everyone have at least one pair of trousers in their closet. They're so versatile and these are by the brand Topshop. They were originally around $76 but I got them on ThreadUp for $23.99. And then this sweater is by the brand Gap. It was originally around $60 but I got it on ThreadUp for $15.99 and shopping for winter or fall knits secondhand is such a big life hack because they're so warm and such good quality but just for a discounted price. This leather coat that I got off of ThreadUp a few months ago and that completes the fit. I feel like most of this year has consisted of me putting on outfits that I would wear if I had somewhere to go but I don't and I'm okay with that just wearing things like this around the house with my roommates. It's great. <laughs> Okay, I just wanted to show you one other way that these trousers can be styled. Just a big loose crew neck, some white sneakers, and an oversized tote bag. I think this is so cute just so you can see how versatile a nice pair of trousers can be. Isn't this top so cute? I love how sheer it is. There is some velvet detailing around the neckline along with some really subtle, beautiful embroidery. And this is by the brand Zara. It was originally around $100, but I got it on ThreadUp for $48.99 and it makes me feel like a forest fairy. I am so excited about styling this skirt. This is by the brand Zara and was originally around $40, but I got it on ThreadUp for $17.99. It's a mini skirt, so it's kind of sexy, but the embroidery just gives it this earthy cottage core kind of energy that I love. And I'm just styling it with these amazing boots that I got secondhand. We have the trousers once again, so versatile, so much you can do, but it just so happens to perfectly match this button down, which is by the brand American Apparel. It was originally around $15.99, but I got it on ThreadUp for $12.99. And having an oversized button down, or even, I feel like this is not oversized on me, but just a nice loose button down in general is such a good, I feel like accessory to have because it does a lot for an outfit. Every time I wear a button down, I tell my friends to call me Papi because that's just the energy it invokes within me. And the last new addition to my wardrobe is this incredible, jumpsuit. It's really a power suit and I want to style this in a very 70s retro way. I have a little scarf in my hair but I also have these really wide frame orange 70s sunglasses that I can't find right now which I think would be so cute with this. This is by the brand Zara and was originally around $70 but I got it on ThreadUp for $36.99. It's gonna be so fun to keep styling and playing around with. So those are a bunch of my new favorite pieces that I got from ThreadUp. And if you would like to get 30% off of your first order, you can use the code HITOMI at checkout or click the link in my description box down below. And after that array of pretty extra outfits, this is what I'm actually wearing today. It's really simple and comfortable and kind of flattering. I like how it's just one little 
string tie in the back but this is a dress that I got at my clothing swap with my roommates yesterday and I just feel like a little ray of sunshine and that's all I want today. <laughs> sleep at 9 p.m. last night so you would think I would be really awake but I actually still feel like I could sleep for another three hours and I don't want to go back to sleep so I'm just gonna journal this morning and I'm gonna read I <laughs> I need to finish this book by the end of the month this is my first book of the month I need to finish this like this week and then I'm gonna read two really easy books by Natasha Friend that are just nostalgic books that I read when I was in like fifth grade <laughs> just because I wanna stick to my three books a month thing but this month was just kinda of busy. I'm doing some heatless curls right now. I actually have a sock in my hair. <laughs> one of the days where I feel like putting on makeup so I'm gonna do that I'm not gonna show you the routine because like I say every time I do my makeup it's been the same for the past three years I'm going into nature today to completely bask and surrender to the medicine of all the elements and sing and meditate and breathe and I also want to try and get some clips for a little short film or artsy poetry kind of video and I wanted to share my tips for how to stay present especially in nature while you're also capturing content because I've been doing that for a while and being in the present moment and hearing all the messages and omens and wisdom that nature has to offer is of the highest importance to me and I also love creating from that space so what I do to not get too taken out of the present moment while I'm also trying to capture it is if I'm taking photos with my phone I don't look at the photos after I have someone take them or I take them myself of the trees or of myself and I don't look at them until after I'm done I put my phone away um, I don't post on social media when I'm sitting in nature having that communion and intimate time but I don't share it right away I don't take it to the point where I'm just being taken out of that magic and medicine and it really does feel like medicine to be in nature when you give yourself the time and space to fully sink in to your body and to your senses which are our gifts and these incredible tools we have to um, get out of our heads and really sit with the wisdom of our bodies and our bodies are so wise and they're always trying to communicate something to us in different forms um, whether that be acne or bloating or mood swings or sadness, you know, it's all intentional and purposeful and there's a reason that all of it is coming up and none of it is bad. It's just a sign or a signal or a message that something may be off balance. Um, even just the length of your breath, if your breath is short and tight in your chest, it's like that's a sign that there's some kind of tension in your mind causing you stress. 
And for, for me, sinking into nature and connecting to the elements feels like taking intentional time to witness my internal landscape and witness if there's anything that is in dissonance from the beauty and peace and calm of nature that surrounds me, you know? It's fully kind of putting the mirror on myself. I feel like all of nature is a mirror that is beckoning me to slow down and to witness and also to accept all aspects of myself. You know, what is making me feel any separate from this beauty and rapture that I feel and then oftentimes just fully surrendering to that beauty and rapture and those good feelings. I feel like we're all kind of alchemists in a way um, because we can transmute any energy into any form that we want. Tending to my external space is a reflection of how I tend to my internal space, but I guess I just feel a sense of liberation and excitement knowing that truth and feeling it in my body that there's nothing ever really wrong there's just areas to refine or um my awareness just needs to be polished more and more in certain aspects of my life and it feels freeing and safe because i don't have to label anything that i'm feeling as good or bad it's just like Ooh, what's the message here okay thanks <laughs> taking the miracle with me and leaving the story behind it's one of my favorite pastimes <laughs> yeah other things for being present in nature if you have trouble sinking into nature and understanding what the elements or the trees or the earth or the mountains might be communicating with you i think it's always great to well of course first drop into your senses the second thing is to chant and to kind of do vocal activation that is just such an easy way to one extend your exhale and calm your nervous system to get out of your head you're naturally making space for what is coming through when you're singing because you're being so present and any frequency any tone that you want to let out is a reflection of how you're feeling internally and what i feel like nature is communicating all around you so i love doing vocal toning and this is just a reminder that there are guides and angels looking over you and guiding your journey at all times and they're vibrating at a very particular frequency which you may not always be in touch with or able to access and you may not always be able to communicate with them because you're blocking their messages from coming through especially if you are avoiding your practice if you're avoiding yourself if you're avoiding looking at any of the walls that are blocking you from your divine beautiful powerful sovereignty but they are communicating constantly sending messages letting you know that you're on the right path sending you little intuitions and sometimes the voice is very very clear you'll just get an instant yes or no in your body if you are struggling to feel that guidance and support from your galactic family or from your angels or ancestors all you have to do is ask and keep praying my mom growing up she would always tell me there are angels in the sky who want to help you they're just waiting to assist you on your path but they won't come they can't come unless you ask and so i've been doing that practice a lot is I'm calling upon all of my angels and guides and ancestors to assist me in this now, to be with me here as I call upon and then whatever protection or guidance or just gratitude that I want to share. And it feels really good. It feels good to keep tapping into the energy that is greater than yourself or to tap into your guides or angels who can maybe see the bigger vision or can help you to always be acting from a higher space and not just from the space of the ego or your own desires but you know please let me know and continue stepping into my dharma my greatest mission the reason why i'm here on this earth it's liberating and it also uh, just feels like you're being divinely guided when you keep checking in and asking them we do have this infinite source of energy that we can access not only out in nature but within ourselves when we connect to the grid of light upon this earth um, within our wombs within our yonis or any of our sexual organs so many tools available to us and different tools might resonate with you at different times in your life as well i had this friend i was asking them about their yoga practice and they were like i just feel really angry right now and it's been really hard to practice yoga so i haven't been connecting to myself spiritually and I don't know what to do and I told them that you know you don't have to just do yoga there's so many different outlets for you to connect to that source and that inner voice and maybe you could try chanting or maybe you could try dancing ecstatic movement and they were like oh yeah like maybe yoga just isn't the medicine that I need right now and this anger and this rage needs to be expressed and felt in a different way and so if anything isn't resonating with you if it is really hard for you to commit to your yoga practice right now maybe you need to be doing something completely different and just 
crawling on the earth and shaking your body or chanting and screaming into the void to move around stagnant energy. And then maybe your energy is a little bit more malleable and able to be shifted in those subtler ways like on your yoga mat. To conclude this little section of the video, I've just been feeling a lot of spaciousness because of my breath and because of my practice. There is space to alchemize everything. There's space to change my narratives on things. There is infinite potential within me and there are so many healing modalities at my fingertips and so much wisdom in my body and out in nature. And I humbly bow down to all of it, vowed to be in service <laughs> and I, vow to just step into my fullest self for the liberation of all beings and to act from a place of pure love and knowingness and not out of fear or lack that's the mental health update for today and i think that i'm done with my makeup very simple here's more of me drinking soup from a mug wow okay that's really exciting i used a sock and I think they came out a good width. I think that I will use something even thicker next time because I want them to be even more loose and bombshelly. It's a little rainy, it's a little cloudy, kind of torrentially downpouring by my house. So I think I might just go thrifting and see if it clears up and just get some lunch. I was kind of excited to film something cute but that's okay. There's a thrift store around here that's two stories. I'm pretty sure the top one just has a bunch of Christmas stuff, but the bottom one has really cute home decor and clothes. So I'm gonna see if I can find anything sweet and just make a day out of it on this rainy, gloomy, Day that I've been blessed with. I actually really like the rain because it just makes everything smoky and pensive and maybe a bit melancholy and that is one of my favorite moods to be in if I'm being honest. Listening to indie music while it rains and writing poetry and feeling like the day will never end. There's something about that that I'm just like yeah. I changed again into this sweet little billowy dress from a brand called Doan. I got a bento box. This is a very rare occasion where I'm trying different fake meat stuff and this is like a little macaroni salad and it's all vegan so it would probably be really yummy. I'm just really excited because this is my first time getting yummy healthy food made for me in a really long time. <laughs> I just wanted to remind you of a meditation technique, a breathwork technique that is so simple to help to relieve anxiety for anyone who might have missed it. I have mentioned this a few times and it's probably pretty common knowledge, but extending your exhale activates the parasympathetic nervous system, which can take you out of a fight or flight state when you have anxiety. And it's one of my biggest tips. It's what ended my anxiety. Anytime that I would feel my heart start to beat really Really fast and get into that headspace where my cells felt like they were buzzing I mean we all know what anxiety feels like <laughs> anytime that would start to swell up within me I would inhale for four counts and exhale for eight counts and slowly my anxiety would just start to fade away and I have been doing this for the past over 
three years and I do not struggle with anxiety on a day-to-day moment-to-moment basis like I used to it is so helpful to drop into the breath and to deepen it and anytime I feel like the tiniest lingering bit of stress or tension building within me I extend my exhale and there are other ways of doing this besides just breathing out uh singing is a really good way to extend your exhale chanting chanting um the um, mantra screaming also helps anything that helps you to extend your exhale more than your inhale even if you feel bad even if you feel unworthy or really sad that doesn't mean that you have to treat yourself badly it doesn't mean you have to act on those feelings that are fear-based and you can choose to love yourself in those moments and anchor love into a moment of fear and panic and that is actually what will carry you through to the other side of those things. Take me out into the water As the full moon Don't wake me up, don't wake me up And open up my eyes Cause I'm dreaming of us And head in a cloud And in your arms tonight Dreaming of us And head in a cloud I just took a really hot bath and then took a really cold shower after just rinsing off and I feel so blissed out I feel reborn would definitely recommend it I'm going to pass out now but thank you for being curious about my life and for witnessing my journey and one more reminder if you would like to get 30% off your first order on ThreadUp you can click the link in my description below or use the code HITOMI at checkout and start shopping ethically and sustainably right from your own home but I'm gonna sign off here. I'm sending you so much love and I hope you can take some deep belly breaths after you're done watching this and until I see you next time. Bye!